Welcome to the channel, everybody. Now, today we are going through mechs, new and old, because the old ones are still in the game. And sometimes we can find a mixture of these mechs. So let's get straight into the video, shall we? And I'll show you destroying these, what we can get from them, and explaining them a little bit better. Now, with these mechs, they are very well armed, as you can see. They have the original rail gun on them. On their left arm, they have a flamethrower. And those two flaps that just popped up on his back fire grenades in the forms of HE, tear gas, and flash grenades. Like that. Luckily, I got out of that one pretty quick. So, these mechs are destroyable. If they fire these gas grenades at you, just beware that they will uh, cause you a lot of pain. So, gas masks are advised when trying to deal with these mechs. There goes the HE grenades and tear gas. was a bit far away from me then, that was lucky. There you have it. Max down. You can search these now, and this is the same with the older yellow mechs. Same thing, you can search them, and from them you get stuff like tear gas, grenades, C4 parts, and BCU locks. Now, BCU locks you can obviously use in your base, but you can only have one of them. Now, in regards to foliage, I have had cases where I've sat in quite thick foliage and I've been spotted by one of these new mechs, okay? Now, I thought this was a bug originally, but they have changed it now so that they can spot you in some foliage. Now, I'm gonna hazard a guess that it all depends on what your intelligence skill under your camouflage is. Obviously, the higher camouflage skill you have in foliage will probably help you disguise yourselves from these mechs a bit better. Depending on what clothing you're wearing, I'm sure will have some sort of impact on it as well. So, just a few little tips and pointers there and things that you can obviously get from mechs now, which is great. But as you can see here, this was at 100% when I started. And we're now at 37% taking one mech down. So, again, be careful of how much you're firing. And if you've got weapon repair kits on you, if you're going for a big, you know, raid of these mechs, you know, go and kill three or four of these mechs and you, you've got quite some decent loot here from them. So it's decent. You may as well try it if you've got firepower to do it. Obviously, you get tear gas grenades. And we get things like this. So as you can see, standing in tear gas like this will give you visual effects like this also means that you cannot sprint you're also a bit wobbly and off foot and you're getting double vision blurred vision quite bad as we can see if we look in our health bar blurred vision disorientation bloodshot eyes and double vision from tear gas exposure now this tear gas exposure will stay now until obviously the recovery gets out of here or you get far enough away from the exposure in the first place where it doesn't take too much effect if you're going to go take on some of these mechs, bring a gas mask with you because this tear gas effect will not affect you at all in the slightest. Now, I'm just going to show you the older mechs as well because obviously before we could destroy them but they weren't lootable. Now they are lootable like the new mechs. So, we're going to fire off some RPGs at these. They do take less RPGs to take out. 
believe it's five for the older mechs and it's eight for the new mechs. So bear that in mind when you are going out, if you are going out to destroy mechs, um, just for ammo purposes. So as you can see, when you hit these mechs, it temporarily stuns them. So it shunts and then looks down and then comes back up. So you do have a split second to move if you need to, but this mech has no idea where I'm shooting it from. As you can see, that yellow mech is now down. As we can see, we get BCU lock, C4 timer, and 50 BMG ammo. So, not a bad little loot, but you're better off going for the newer ones. But, saying that, it does take more ammo to take out the new ones. As we've seen, it was 5 RPG rounds for this. And we'll test it again just so you can see exactly how many rounds we're using. But it should be eight of these rounds to take out this new mech. So again, depending on your playstyle, depending if you have the firepower to do this, if taking out mechs is something that you want to do to get the BCU locks and C4 stuff, or just 50 BMG ammo, obviously you can do it now by taking them out. You can use other stuff like the AT4s and uh, grenade launchers, things like that. But again, you're going to need to test how much ammo you're going to need. So let's just keep shooting these rockets. That tear gas has uh, affected us quite badly. But we do have God Mode on, that's why we're not taking damage if anyone was wondering why I'm still alive for all this. Just for the purposes of the video, I put God Mode on. Obviously so I don't die, so I can test these features for you. Now another little thing if it will do it. it here we go so it goes into a stance and you see this rail gun come up now like that if you hit it with an rpg like i just did it stops the motion of the rail gun from performing just have to get myself some more ammo quickly Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so that's good to know then. So when they do go down for the railgun mount, obviously they're stationary in place. So that is a good time to move and get out of the way of it. So this one's down as well. And that was eight rockets. So we discovered the old mechs take five RPG-7 rockets and the new mechs take eight RPG-7 rockets, which is good to know for all of you players that want to go out and loot these up because from the new mechs you'll get in slightly better loot than what you do from the older mechs. But as you can see, if you want a BCU, go take one of these down if you've got the firepower for it. Again, this is probably going to cost you if you're buying RPG stuff. Um, so you've got to sort of tally up if it's going to be worth you know, the cost of the RPG and the ammo to get what you're getting from a mech. But just a little tip guide video for you around mechs just going through them what you can get from them and how to take them out easily so obviously the bcus are going to be good for you if you want one but bear in mind you can only use one per base well, thank you for joining me today if you enjoyed the video give it a like hit that subscribe button i'm trying to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of this year and also that notification bell so you stay up to date with all the latest scum news and other scum content on my channel. Until the next one, see ya.